When an auto manufacturer builds a car, what they build is really a body and an engine. Everything else that goes into a car is made by auto supply companies like Johnson Controls. We're here in an exhibit at the Detroit Auto Show that the public is never going to see. So let's take a look at what could be in your car in, say, five years or so. <clears throat> One of their ideas, which is kind of cool, how many times have you put a package on the front seat of your car and had it riding next to you like a person? Well, now you don't have to do that anymore. Fold your seat up, and you can drop your luggage right in like that. Or how many times have you ridden in the back seat of a small car and felt like you were a package? Well, not anymore. In this car, I can recline the back seat all the way back, and I can put the front seat all the way down to make it into a footrest. This is like riding around in a lazy boy. And all this other stuff here, like the center console displays, Johnson Controls does that stuff too. This one has controls similar to an iPod with no mechanical buttons. But if you don't want to use those, you can also slide it back and put your gear selector buttons right where your fingers are. Oh, and this part of the center console here, that actually folds back kind of like a roll-top desk. So I can reach into this, into this basket, pull out whatever's in there, like my Blackberry, and drop it on here, which is a charging mat. We'll talk about glove boxes. This one's got two of them. They're huge. This one's covered by a thin fabric film that's lit from behind at night. That's a nice look. And then this one opens up with the touch of a button, and it's huge. You've probably seen touchscreen displays in cars before. Johnson Controls makes those, too. These are a little bit more advanced than the ones you're used to. Notice there's no hood covering this up from the sun. That's because the screen naturally brightens on its own whenever the sun hits it. And they've also got this cool heads-up display here. Normally, these things reflect into the windshield, but... Because automakers like things to be easy to assemble, this one has a separate panel that pops up so it can be easily dropped into any car without having to make a lot of difficult adjustments. Down here, the normal instrument panel has been replaced by a pretty richly detailed computer screen with a speedometer along the top and again navigation and other features down in the middle. Now this heads-up display is also a lot better than the ones you see in cars these days that usually look like they came off a late 80s video game. This one's full color and rich detail for your navigation so you can see exactly where you're going right in front of you as if it were hovering over the road. And what's really cool is this isn't sci-fi stuff or stuff that you're going to have to pay $200,000 for a car to get. Auto manufacturers are looking at these things and putting some of these features into cars that will be on dealer lots pretty soon.